it is that time again. 10 games, 10 easy completions, and over 40,000 gamer score to collect. Yo, what's going on, Hunters? It is me, Morvi, and I'm here once again to show you 10 easy games that are going to easily boost your gamer score. Now, in my last video, I brought you 10 games that were going to bring you 35,000 gamer score, and that isn't including the Windows version. So, if you were doing both versions, you were looking at around 70,000 gamer score in a day, two days if you were taking it slow. But today, I'm here to bring you another 10 games, and this time, we are totaling 35,500 gamer score. Now, I don't know whose bright idea it was to add 500 gamer score as an achievement update, but. Um, now, this list of 10 games shouldn't take you any more than like six to seven hours, but if you wanted to take it slow, it's gonna take you one or two days to complete. If you wanted to blast it, I reckon you could easily get through these in around five to six hours. A lot of these games I do have guides and walkthroughs for on my channel. If you wanna take a deeper look at these, then please check them out, or I have put them in the description below, so check them links. Apologies for the lack of these videos. Um, some of you may know this is where I get a lot of my views from, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I do like to make sure that I play every single game that I talk about. I could churn a lot of these out weekly if I could just pick a load of random games that I find online, but I wanna make sure they are easy and they are quick to complete, so I don't waste your guys' time. Your guys's, your guys's. <laughs> English. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, then please again check the description below as I put them there and you're going to get a lot of easy game score. I've also done some Game Pass ones, so if you're inclined to that, make sure you check them out. That being said, I have had quite a lot of time to stock up on a bunch of footage from a load of different games. So just to let you know, my next video is going to be the long awaited top 10 free games that will boost your gamer score. I know a lot of you guys have asked me to do this in the past and I'm finally getting around to do it. As I said, I do like to play all the games to see if they are easy and quick. And some of the free ones are a little bit longer. So uh, I've had put them to one side, but uh, I've got through it now. So that is the next video coming out. So if you're so inclined to some free gamer score, then make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that one. As I said in my last guide, I am doing a lot more stuff over on my TikTok and my Instagram. If you like short form content, then please go over there and give me a follow. But other than that, I think we are done here. If you like the video, hit that like button. But yeah, let's jump into this top 10 and let's get you guys some easy peasy gamer score. The first title I'm gonna be talking about also holds one of the most gamer scores on this list but is also one of the biggest pains in the butt. The Story Tale is a 2D platform where we take control of two different characters. One will merely die by the sight of an enemy, um, I don't understand why, whereas the other one can Hulk smash through them all, and there's a 1% chance that he will perish randomly. But other than that, he'll blast goblins left, right, and center. I'll be honest, I have no idea of the rules of this game, and I've played it twice now. I've mainly completed it with brute force. Originally, this game had 4,000 gamers score up for grabs, and it would take around an hour to get the full 100%. During these levels, you will have to get past an army of goblins, although some of them do offer tasks. At the end of these tasks, we have achievements. They are mainly finding items in the level and then taking it back to them. Super duper easy. There was an update and an additional 1000 gamer score was added to the game, but let me tell you, the developer must have woken up on the wrong side of the bed because, oh my god, these new levels and these achievements wanted to make me pull my hair out. Now, if you don't know if you remember if I had long hair last year, well, this game was the reason why I just, ah! I'm only kidding, I just got a haircut and only completed Storytale a few weeks ago, so you know. Um, but yes, this game, uh, the later levels uh, are quite tricky. One of the biggest difficulty spikes in this game is at some levels past level 50, there are invisible enemies and that is as annoying as it sounds. With a little bit of patience and a lot of luck, this isn't impossible to get through. For some reason, any time I play a 2D platformer, I have the urge to play it as fast as possible, and I wonder why I keep dying. This one will take around 2 hours for the full 100% completion, and as I said, this one offers 5000 gamer score, so this is a must. There is also a Windows version that offers 4000 gamer score, although the dev might add an extra 1000G, but currently you can get 9000 gamer score for the two. Wow. 
Now, for a super duper easy one. Last time I spoke about a game called Signal, and I've had a few comments saying this game has now been delisted and you cannot pick it up in the store. So once I played this next game, it felt like its spiritual successor. Prisma Puzzle is a puzzle game. <laughs> you know, clues and name in case you didn't know. We need to get the beam of light from the start of the map to the end. The premise is simple, but at the end it does get a little bit tricky. To 100% this game, we need to complete each type of stage at least once. There is a lot to choose from and some are easier than others. Thankfully though, I have put together a follow along guide that will help you get the 3000 gamer score super duper quickly. You will have it in around 10 to 15 minutes. If you want to play without the guide, it is going to take you significantly longer to complete, but then you can say, I didn't let Morvi help me. So, you know, win, lose, however you see it. If you're looking at the screen and thinking, what on earth am I looking at? Then you would not be alone. It is a very unique looking game, but the premise is very similar to a lot of games that we played on this channel. This one is super duper chill and it will be over before you know it. Follow along with my guide and 3k will be under your belt within 10 minutes. You've heard of Starsky and Hutch, you've heard of Kane and Lynch, now it's time for Tony and Clyde. We are on a journey for revenge. So, the story is a bit sideways. The bald old guy is Tony, a world class hitman, and it just so happens he killed Clyde's family. Now, they are somehow a team and they are going to take down Tony's former boss. Now, personally, hats off to Clyde, he either doesn't have many friends or he is a saint in disguise. Either way, it is now time to clean the streets and murder everything in sight. Now, this is quite a tricky 100%, but don't worry, as long as you put it on the easiest difficulty, we can walk through the game like Neo. The base game offers 4,000 gamer score and you must complete a bunch of tasks, dodging bullets, stacking dead bodies and completing the game. The devs have recently added another 500 gamer score and a new game mode. A new challenger appears. A axe wielding rabbit viking. Who guessed it? Anyone? Anyone? At the back? No? This lovable looking lad is from another game from the developers, but it's currently being tacked onto the side of this one. Once you unlock him, we are going to need to run the campaign once again, but this time as Bjorka. He is quite fun to play, even though he does only have a melee weapon, his axe clips through walls, so he's pretty much invincible. I also had machine gun boobs. Why do I have guns coming up my boobs as well? So, 4,500 gamer score in about two and a bit hours. And the game that doesn't take itself too seriously that's actually quite fun to play. I did a 100% run of this. If you'd like to check that out, then please check my description down below as I put the link there. Okay, now another easy one is up for grabs. Rayland is a cute and easy puzzler with a lot of gamer score up for grabs. We need to bounce the laser beam around the map using mirrors to guide it to the end point. It's a really simple concept that for the most part is quite chilled. Completing levels makes you feel like a bit of a badass, but in later levels you might be scratching your head as the maps get quite big. I did have a lot of fun with this one as it does test your brain, but it isn't a complete mind blitz. It is somewhat similar to Prisma Puzzle Prime, but this one is a lot more straightforward and I think a lot more people can understand this one quicker. It also helps that it has an additional 1000 gamer score compared to Prisma Puzzle Prime. You can blast this one really quickly with a guide. Sadly, I was gonna create one myself, but instead my computer decided to corrupt the footage. Yay! This one with a guide will take you around 10 minutes for the full 4000 gamer score or around 30 minutes without one. So, if a nice big stack of gamer score interests you, then Rayland should be next on your list. Now for the newest title to be released on this list. Slime Ranger is a cute little puzzler where we have a limited amount of moves to get us to the end of the stage. Do not let the cute aesthetic fool you, this game gets rather challenging. It's a game that's a lot trickier than it looks. When I first picked it up, I thought I was going to be done in 10 minutes, but it got me sweating down the line. 
In total, we need to complete 35 levels for 2,000 gamer score. This could take some time, but I have come prepared with an easy follow along guide. I have put all button commands needed to complete each level on screen. If you follow along with this guide, it will take you no longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Without a guide, you'll be like me and it will take you a couple of hours. There are some other achievements in the game, such as picking up weapons, but you'll do this while completing the levels. As I said, it is super new, so there's a possibility that there could be an achievement update later on down the line. But either way, currently there's 2000 gamer score. Grab this and bag some easy achievements. In debtor, we are a debt collector. And the debt has been spread across a weird dystopian future where citizens have made pitfall and spike traps to stop the debt collector from getting their money. I mean, all's fair in love and war, I guess. We need to hop, jump and headbutt our way through each area, collecting all the coins as we go. It is very straightforward. Some of the levels have us collecting coins in a specific order, otherwise you will have to restart the level. But if you spend a little bit of time to think, it is quite thought provoking, but it is very easy to figure out. So don't you worry about that. For the most part, you'll be ransacking each level pretty quickly, clearing up all of the achievements. To prove how easy this game is, there is an achievement to die. And it was the last achievement I had to collect on my 100% run. This title offers 3000 gamer score, plus it has a Windows version that offers the same amount. So in total, we're looking at a tasty 6000 gamer score in about 30 minutes and that's completing both titles. For anyone struggling, I do have a complete walkthrough ready to go, but don't you worry, I believe in you. It is super duper easy. We are now going back in time a little bit to a game I completed a while ago. Flasco Man is a 2D puzzler where we need to progress through the game's story as a man with a flask as a head. Even though this sounds like it could be quite troublesome, it's actually a blessing in disguise as our head can now transport liquids needed to open various doors and switches throughout the game. So that's the gimmick of this puzzler. We are the transporter. There is a lot of space management needed also as you will need to order liquids you come across but not necessarily in the order you find them. So you need to hunt down places to store them for use later. This title will make you work for the 100%. The puzzles get quite mind boggling in parts and the game itself isn't the shortest to begin with. That's where I come in. I have created a follow along guide that can help you complete Flasco Man in around 30 minutes. Flasco Man offers 4000 gamer score and it's one of the better achievement games out there. It's always in the sales, but to be honest, it is worth the full price. Definitely get this one on your done list. Number three now, we are nearly at the end. Let me know down in the comment section if you've seen a game that I've spoken about today that you thought, that is my next 100%. Zombie Derby Pixel Survival is a side-scrolling vehicle management game. We need to get out of dodge as it's actually hit the fan. Zombies are all over the gaff and we aren't staying around to find out what's going to happen. The objective is simple. We need to traverse the map in a vehicle, mowing down zombies, making jumps and taking out obstacles before it totals your car. You need to manage the damage your vehicle takes and the amount of fuel you use. You'll fail a few times but each time a zombie gets splatted or you make a cool jump, you make money. At the end of each run you get to upgrade your vehicle to become an unstoppable force but as soon as you complete a level, a new vehicle unlocks and you need to start the process all over again. I'll be honest, it is a very grindy game. You will be playing each level multiple times to grind out the cash. It isn't the most exhilarating game I've ever played, but it does make you want to keep playing. I'd recommend this one as it is super easy to play and it's one of them games that I'd recommend to play on a rainy Sunday, watching some of my Let's Plays in the background. There is 3000 up for grabs and there is also a Windows version, so your total is looking at 6k. See, got you interested now, didn't I?
number two now, and it is very similar to number three. So the developers of Pixel Derby Pixel Survivor also did a non-pixel version. Zombie Derby 2 is pretty much identical to the game I've spoken about previously, but instead of Minecraft Zambos, it is realistic ones. It's the same with the vehicles, they look like something out of Rocket League instead of Minecraft Kart 64. There's not much more to say about this one, like I said, it is the exact same to Pixel Survival. I did complete these back to back and I found this one was a little bit longer to complete, but it may have been because this was the second game that I played and my concentration was waning a little bit. But super duper easy, just like the other one. You can pick them up in a bundle, so this could be a good way to get a lot of gamer score quickly. All the Zombie Derby titles have Windows versions also, so there's a lot up for grabs. This title also offers 3000 gamer score. There is a Zombie Derby 1, but I am yet to play this title. It might pop up in my next top 10, but you'll never know if you don't sub. So hit that red button and let's get on to number one. Okay, we are at number one now and I have played this game a lot. It's had a lot of updates and every time I've done the update, I have then removed it from the Xbox and that removes my saved data. So I've completed this game four times. Castle Walker started out as a 1000G quick completion, but is now grown into a 4000 gamer score behemoth. This side scrolling action game has us on quite an adventure to save our little buddy from the big bad. The first level will have you feeling like some sort of God and then by the second act, they get stripped away. And from there, the hunt is on for our powers and our little buddy. The achievements come one after another, it is great. There are various achievements for killing different mobs, completing levels, picking up items and getting that KD up along the way. By the time you've reached level 3, you should have all the achievements under your belt. This game handles really nicely and I actually enjoyed the playthrough. Like I said, I've played this game 4 times on 4 separate occasions. So, I would consider myself a Castle Walker Pro at this point. I have recorded my playthrough of the first 1000G. If you'd like to see more of this game, then check the description down below for the link. So, in total, there is now 4,000 gamer score up for grabs, and there is also a Windows version for the exact same. So, double up and get that boost. And there we have it. We are at the end of my list once again, and there is another 10 games with a bunch of gamer score ready for you to go and grab. If you're still here, then thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button and please let me know in the comments if you're going to pick up any of these games that I've spoke about today and complete them yourself. Like I said throughout, most of these games I have played in some form of a guide, walkthrough or a let's play. So please check the description down below as I've linked everything there. I have also linked my other socials. So please go over there and give me a follow and I will be eternally grateful. But I think we are done here. If you need any more top 10 achievement lists, then please check the description below or my channel. I have done a bunch of them. I've done some Game Pass ones. And as I said in the intro, my next one is going to be 10 free games. So if that's something up your street, then please hit that sub button. But until next time, I've been Morvi and I'll see you later. Happy hunting.